You should check out that silent alarm at the auction house. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too. Attention units, 1034. Repeat, assault reported. Report came in from Lennox Hill. on the job. Come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to Spider Cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. They call organized crime. Oh, Gotta give that real man props. Manhattan rush hour is no joke. My first camera. I got this at a yard sale. Still use this film.
making our way over from Pier 4 now. Show us about eight minutes. <laughs> Officers be advised, a mugging was just reported. Please converge on Central Park. That's a holdup. I'm a surprise! You ain't ready for this! No more muggers. Huh. I love a happy ending. Shoot away. Can't let him hurt that victim anymore. Is this the mosh pit? Great. Live by the beatdown, die by the beatdown. Thanks. <laughs> Yuri said quietly. Better find a back way in. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others.
always look so cozy whipped up like that. Really hope these guys aren't trying to claim Kingpin's territory. I was hoping for at least a weekend of R&R. &R. Should web him from above. Guys are getting ready to be bad. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions, being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be, at least. Fisk saw himself in this. 
A great man willing to do what others wouldn't? Dude had no self-awareness. Fist cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. Hmm. Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto. So beautiful. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. But life and work are here. Hated this cane. So tacky. Heard from the underworld, huh? Super tempted to ring this guy. And how much am I bid for this collection of villainy and deceit, starting at 10,000 broken lives and dreams? 10,000 going once. May would love this. I gotta admit, I miss May.
Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. What did Fisk call this? Vanessa? Brought hidden crimes to light. <laughs> we got an old school investigative journalist over here. I like her. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well, before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. Got it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Hold on, was that? Never mind. As I was saying, well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but 
But how? Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Maybe these pieces move. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. the Neo behind them, but it looks different. Devil's breath. 
What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. So is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. I'm not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much, Shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Keep it tight, Pete. There we go. Okay, room is clear. Easy does it. Man, Fisk had a lot of stuff. One room at a time. Clear this out before I continue. That's all of them. MJ. Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage taking, guys. Stop. 
Me what? Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but, you know, technically specters aren't go- <laughs> Yeah? Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? <sighs> Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. I love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? 
Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the... MJ wrote this article in the school paper about student protests. She was a heck of a journalist even then. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Gotta be a special kind of crazy to rob a storefront in the city Spider-Man protects. Did I hurt you guys? Good news, the police are coming to protect you. Need backup for a vehicle pursuit in progress. 
Officers, please converge on Longacre. Okay, you are not getting five stars. Hold fire. Let's see what Spider-Man can do. You gotta shut this. Reinforcements. I guess this is what they call organized crime. Nothing like a high-speed chase to keep a guy on his toes. Daily Bugle. All units, we've got another break-in in progress. Officers, please converge on Longacre. actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a lot longer. Took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive. I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. 
There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Not these made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Jammer I whipped up to jam Vulture's wings. Too bad he improved them after that. brought all the small timers out of the woodwork. Texted Yuri to pick these guys up. Oh, I wish there was a spidey emoji I could put at the end. Tune my earpiece to listen for sounds of someone struggling. My earpiece picked up cries for help close by. You're safe now. I thought I was gonna die in there. Thank you. Not again. There they are! What's wrong? Hey, fellas! Spider Man's ripping us off!
Thank you, thank you. There will be no encore, as all the kidnappers are unconscious. When the vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake-up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. Organized crime. like a high-speed chase to keep a guy on his toes. Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. Here on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. 
showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. Doc working on with this. Beautiful. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene.
great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Folks, you've heard me express grave concerns about the risk to civil liberties posed by the police department's crime system and their omnipresent towers. But at least the intention is to stop crimes. Now recently, Spider-Man has been seen tampering with these very towers. And it's reasonable that my loyal listeners suspect he is disabling the towers so he can commit his unlawful misdeeds with impunity. But Spider-Man is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill menace. Oh, he's a 12th level kung fu master, 50 moves ahead menace. Which is why I think he's actually hacking into these towers to spy on you and me. Your only defense? Listen to my show. All the time. If he's gonna spy on us, let him hear that we're on to him. By listening to me. Every waking moment. <laughs> <laughs>